Let us bow our heads for the invocation to be led by Miss Monin Kathleen Perin. This will be followed immediately by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be led by the CEU Singers Manila. Almighty God, our loving Father, Creator of heaven and the earth, You are clothed in in majesty, yet in Your mighty power and glory. You gave hope to us and saved us sinners with mercy. Thank You for Your unconditional love and never-ending guidance for us. You are always there especially for those who are in need. Thank You too for Your promise for us, the promise of everlasting life. Thank you for your grace despite all the challenges we are encountering. And for this day, thank you for the opportunity to share music to people despite the pandemic. Father God, we pray that you will strengthen and guide us more as we continue walking the road of life, so that we may act and speak your love and grace to others. Forgive and heal us who are prisoners of our sins and comfort us in our grief. As we celebrate the season of love, we ask you to open our minds and renew our hearts so that we may receive your wisdom and wonderful love for us to be able to share it with all. Bless us as we express love for self, love for others, and love for the country. May this gesture give hope to all, especially to those who are joining us this afternoon. May all of us see and realize your unconditional love. We dedicate this concert to you, O Lord. May our humble sharing of gifts give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Upang hinihang Tuyan ka ng magitin Sa man lulupin Di ka pasisingin Sa dagat at tunog Sa simoy at sa pangit mong mukha Malilat ang tula at awit Sa paglayang minamahal Ang isla't ng mataw At mo'y tagumpay na nagninimning Ang lituwin at araw niya Kailan pa may di magbibilig Lumalang araw na huwag natin pagsita Buhay ay langit sa piling ko Ang ikigaya ng pag ay makaapi Ang mamatay ng tayo sa iyo Hello Philippines, hello Escalarians, and hello to all our viewers. A very lovely evening to everyone. Welcome to this year's Valentine's Concert presented primarily by our very own CEO Concert Band in partnership with the University Student Council Manila. For this year, the Centro Escolar University Concert Band will be having a Valentine's Day concert entitled A Day for Love, which is a celebration of love through music. That's right, Ate Pam, it has been a challenging year and we could all use a little love, whether you're sending love to someone, love to the world, or even love to yourself. This concert will lift your spirits with positively great music and classic hits. Yes, that's right, Ria. And in addition to that, the CEU Concert Band will take all of us to another level of musical journey through love and with love. We will make sure to make your heart sing during the sweetest time of the year. But of course, before anything else, allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Pamela Grace Corpus, your University Student Council Manila First Vice President. And I am Ria Janabet del Rosario, your University Student Council Manila Assistant Secretary. At sasamahan namin kayo as your hosts for today's event. Ayan. As we start at the PAM Hour event, I would just like to uh, to check on you guys. Kamusta kayo? Kasi diba, ang bilis yeah. ng panahon. Grabe, can you believe it? 
two months of 2022 have already passed and the love month is about to end with that ate pam kamusta naman ang february for you nako oo nga no let's of course our escolarians i hope you guys are okay all throughout this month And I can't believe it because February is about to end already. Wow! Oh, grabe. So fast. Sobra, Ria. Sobrang bilis talaga. And well, going back to your question, February was a roller coaster ride for me. It was filled with obstacles and modules. But of course, <laughs> despite everything, I think having a mindset of gratitude, even for the little things that come into life, is what helped me enjoy and fill myself with peace and And love. Ikaw naman, Ria. Kamusta ka ngayong okay. love month? Ayan, Ate Pam. Nako. Okay naman ang love month ko with my modules na talagang mahal na mahal ako at hindi talaga ako iniiwan. Eh. <laughs> ang loyal nila sa akin. Kaya, ay, ay, Ate Pam, well, in my case naman, February really did come by so fast. I, I mean, it really did, like, Just flew like that. Na parang <laughs> yes, I agree. Kumikit lang ako ng segle, tapos magma-march na bukas. And ayan, yan naman. Pero ayan, ate. Although, to be honest with you, it was really tough for me. But it's okay. And that's why I'm really looking forward to what March will bring. Same here, Ria, and I just hope na hindi lang March, but the rest of the year will be good, not only for us, not only for the two of us, but for the whole CEU community and the rest of the country. I totally agree, and let us hope and pray that everything goes well for each one of us, especially with the things that are going on right now. Let us, please, let us keep each other in our prayers. Yes, always. Yes, and all right. I think we got a little, a little lang naman, a little got up with our chikahan. <laughs> and with that, let us now proceed and kick off with our event. Again, again, I'm excited. I'm really, I was really looking forward to this event the whole day, Ate Pam. Again, naman, are you excited, Ate Pam? Of course, Ria. Hindi na rin ako makapaghintay. Handang-handa na rin ako for our concert for this evening and i hope everyone watching here to uh, with us tonight is excited as well kayo ba how about you as colorians are you ready ayan nakikita ko ang dami pa lang hearts natin sa comment section and yes, now ayan. to start ayan ang dami virtual hugs mga heart virtual yeah, thank you so virtual much guys virtual hugs for you guys yes that's right <laughs> Ayan, ready na po. And since ready na ang lahat, let us now start. And with that, let's have Mr. Chris Anthony Samaniego, CEU Concert Band Director, for his opening remarks. Let us give him a warm round of applause. Good afternoon to the whole CEU community. From our President, Dr. Maria Cristina Di Padolina, and Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Carlito B. Olaer, and other university officials, teachers, employees, students, and parents. Since this is a love month, the CEO Concert Band will play for us musical pieces with the theme of love. Let's express our love for each other, love for our country and God. We shall enjoy three foreign music, three original Filipino pieces, and three songs for the love of our country. Central Escolar University, this concert is specially for you. May we all enjoy and express our love through music. Thank you so much. And once again, good afternoon. Again, this concert is especially for you guys. Thank you very much, po, Mr. Chris Samaniego, for that delightful opening remarks. Yes, thank you so much again, Sir Chris, for officially opening our concert for today. And with that, I think we can finally introduce to all of you the first part of our Valentine's concert that will feature foreign love songs. That is right, Ate Pam. The CEO Concert Band will now officially serenade us with these love songs, starting with a Valentine classic, a song entitled Valentine, composed by Jim, Bir Jim, 
Breakman, I'm sorry, and Jack Hugel and arranged by Fredilyn Parin, a full band performance with singer Ms. Micaela Alisa Flores. Up next, we have the song that is streamed 1.9 billion times. Wow! This song is entitled Perfect, composed by Edward Christopher Sheeran or Ed Sheeran and arranged by Noah Faulkner. This is a clarinet quartet to be played by Miss Sofia Manalo, Miss Vinette Ortega, Miss Aliana Cornejo, and Mr. Romar Romano. And our last song for the first set, we have God Gave Me You that was popularized in the Philippines by the love team Aldab. And this song was composed by Andy Goldmark, Jamie Houston, and James Dean Hicks and arranged by Buboy Fraina, a full band performance with singers Mr. Jerome Ventimiglia and Ms. Micaela Alisa Flores. Let's all give them a big virtual round of applause.
an amazing performance from Miss Micaela Alisa Flores, Mr. Jerome Ventimiglia, the clarinet group composed of Miss Manalo, Miss Ortega, Miss Cornejo, and Mr. Romano. And of course, that won't be possible without the help of our very own CEU Concert Band. Of course, thank you, thank you to all our performers. Indeed, Ate Bam, it was really an outstanding performance and I'm sure Sure, all our viewers loved it. I mean, who wouldn't be touched by such a performance, diba? And the songs, grabe. Pumapag-ibig talaga ang vibes natin tonight. Kaya naman, I'm sure, kinilig din ang ating viewers. And that's great because for today, Bida ang kilig. Tama ka dyan, Ria. Bidang-bida talaga ang kilig at pag-ibig. At kita naman sa ating audience. Yan. Yes, and with this full of hearts again. Yes, I can see it nga. Oh, yan. Ang daming heart na comments. Yes, a day for love indeed. Actually, this brings me to remember that ever since I was a kid, naririnig ko na yung Valentine ni Jim Brickman. It, diba? It feels so nostalgic. And pinaganda pa lalo ito ng collaboration between our USC Manila president and the CEU concert band. 
truly Ate Pam. For me naman, the cover of Perfect is perfect. There's no other words. It's really perfect. That song was very popular sometime in 2017, di ba? And iba yes, pa din yes. talaga ang feels whenever I hear that song. Yes, at ang perfect para naging national anthem din to ng mga tao. Kapag, yes. At syempre, hindi rin nagpapahuli ang theme song ng Aldab na God Gave Me You Back in 2015 na parang theme song din ng mga mahilig manood ng TV. Yes. I used to hear this on television programs and radios and it is basically everywhere talaga. Diba? Yes. <laughs> Ayan, may nakita mo sa comments natin. Ate Pam, Aldab daw. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, and basically, yung God Gave Me na kanta, it is reminding us that love's foundation should be in God's love and guidance. And yes. para lang today, no, God gave us this event to enjoy and share to everyone dahil lahat tayo nagmamahal bawat minuto at bawat araw. Yeah, and that was really beautiful, Ate Pam. Actually, I was wondering in, with the song God Gave Me, when, when kaya, no? <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loving someone and being loved is just a beautiful thing and all of us truly deserve that, diba? Yes, always. <laughs> yeah, and enough, enough naman sa chikahan natin. And let's go back to our program. The hell, there's still a lot more Escolarians. So stay with us and let us serenade you with love for this very special event. Exactly, Ria. So stay tuned, Escolarians. But before we continue with our Valentine's concert or our colleague moments, let us first listen and watch this superb spoken poetry, spoken word poetry by Miss Christina Carr and Mr. Brian Calbaliente entitled Patawad, Pinapalaya na kita. Patawad, Pinapalaya na kita. Sabi nila, darating daw talaga sa punto mapapagod ka. Nasusuko ka. Yung tipo, kahit hindi mo inaasahan, wala na talagang patutuluhan. Noong una, parang ayoko pang maniwala. Pero noong lumisan ka, ako ay nabahala. Natakot na baka hindi ko kayanin nang wala ka sa gabing malamig ang singoy ng hangin. Mahal, Ilan nga ba nagsimula? Nagsimulang maglaong yung mga mata na akala kong sa akin ay hindi magsasawa. Ngunit ngayon, wala na at nasa iba na ang gana. Naalala ba ba nung una tayong magkita? Araw na sana'y maibabalik ko pa. Sumula noon, buhay ko'y nagkaroon ng liwaga. Ikaw ang naging ilaw sa dilim wala sa apoy na nagbabaga. Mahal, naalala mo pa ba nung punta tayong tumaway? Tinignan mo ako sa mga mata habang hawak ang aking kamay. Humingi ka ng tawad kahit wala kang kasalanan. Sabi mo pa nga, Mahal, ikaw lang ang aking tahanan. Mahal, naalala mo pa ba na ako ang iyong tahanan? Naunahin ka kaysa sariling kapakanan. Hindi ko pagsisihang binuksan ko ang aking pintuan, lalo noong panahong pagod ka at walang mauwian. Mahal, naalala mo pa ba noong una tayong lumabas? Kumain na masyal na tila wala ng bukas habang naglalakad. Bumuhos ang malakas na ulan. Niyaya kitang tumakbo pa kanan, ngunit hinila mo ako at sumayaw tayo sa gitna ng kawalan. Naalala mo ba, ba ang mga ito, mahal? O baka nabura na rin sa iyong isipan nang ikaw ay lumisan? Lumisan sa dating sumpaang walang hanggan na ngayon ay eh mas una mong tinundukan. Mahal, kailan nga ba nagsimulang mawala? Ang nararamdaman mong tila isang gula. Ngunit huwag kang mag-alala. Hindi ko na ipipilit pa. Mga dumaang taon, buwan, linggo, at araw na kasama ka ay aking lilisanin na. Mahal, sige na. Hindi ko na itatanong pa. Masaya na rin ako sa maikling panahon na kasama ka. Kaya't salamat. 
Salamat sa pag-apit at pagbitiw mo sa akin. Ngayon, pagpapalaya na sa iyo ang aking pipiliin. Mahal, paawad, paalam. Pinapalaya na kita. Grabe naman yun. Grabe naman. Grabe. Pero, di ba, Ate Pam, it's a sad truth na hindi talaga kumpleto ang pag-ibig kapag walang sakit. Yan. So, it's a Totoo. cycle, di ba? Magmamahal tayo, masasaktan, magpapatawad, magpapalaya, matututo. Pero, magmamahal tayo muli. Kaya naman, Scholarians, huwag kayo susuko sa pagmamahal, ha? Kasi isang paraan din yan para tayo ay naging matatak. That's right. Yes, and well, what an amazing and touching piece. Thank you, Miss Nahar and Mr. Doliente for that wonderful performance. Grabe ati pa, Maaren Escolarians. Really talented. Ah, yes. Grabe. Sila. Ako din, medyo na speechless nga ako sa piece ni, ni Brian at ni Christine. Nakala ko naman puro oh. tayo makilig ngayon. Pero din palang all yeah. things. Nakala ko kilig lang eh. <laughs> And I agree nga, Ria. I mean, no, we're not even halfway through our event. And yet, we've already seen all these amazing talents, di ba? So, thank you yes. once again, Miss Nakar and Mr. Doliente. Yes, really. Thank you, Miss Nakar and Mr. Doliente. And with that, let us continue with our concert. After featuring foreign love songs, of course, we have to feature our very own OPM song. Absolutely. And you know, Ria, share ko lang, I'm a huge fan of OPM songs. You know, there's just something about it that's so special and unique that you can't find anywhere else. No, kahit ang daming luma, lumalabas na bago music dyan, iba pa rin ang yes. tama kapag sarili mong lengguahe at galing sa mga taong kapwa mong Pilipino. Yes, Ati Pam. Very well said. I certainly agree with that. And, you know, I also listen to different genres of music, like, you know, jazz, hip-hop, and of course, the K-pop na talaga namang sikat ngayon. But, you know, for me, OPM is just on another level, and I relate to it in a way that is just so special and exceptional. Misong Miss Moria, nakuha mo na tumpak mo lahat. Kaya naman, to start our OPM jamming, first we have Ben and Ben's 2017 hit, hit song, Leaves, composed by Paolo Aww. Benjamin. This is a solo alto saxophone by Mr. Kim Correa. Up next, we have the Awit Awards 2020 Most Stream Song. Wow! Ikaw at ako composed by Moira De La Torre and Jason Marvin and arranged by Jack Jack Gonzaga. A performance by the CEO Concert Band. And last but not the least for this set, for the second set, this is an OPM classic, Your Love, composed by Alamid and arranged by Lord Maurice Lagar- Lagartera. This is a solo flute performance by Mr. Mark Santos. Let us give them a warm round of applause.
really beautiful right at the palm. Super, grabe sobrang nakaka-touch yung ating mga performances for this. Yes. yes. Yes, that was really beautiful once again. Thank you, Mr. Kim Korea, Mr. Mark Santos, and of course, the CEO Concert Band for another heartwarming performance featuring OPM hits. That's right, Lee. Ano, kanina napansin ko lang, kung kanina, binigyan tayo ng isang tula ng pagpapalaya. Ito namang yes. pangalawang set. Pinapaalala sa atin ang ganda at kapangyarihan ng pagmamahal. Katulad nga nang nabasa ko sa ating comment section kanina, um, I think this was Maxine. She said, every end is a new beginning. So that's right, indeed. So everyone, never lose hope in your pursuit to find genuine love. Ika, what are your thoughts naman, Ria? Uh, yes, Ate Pam. As I was watching, you know, I, I just think that This is really amazing, you know. We're exploring different kinds and forms of love, just like what you said, you know, kanina, tungkol sa pagpapalaya. And ito naman, grabe. Kaya, di ba, kasi nga naman, di ba, love knows no boundaries. And I agree with what you said, Ate Pam. Never lose hope, everyone, because God will give the perfect one for us. Always. Yes, and ayun naman, with all the songs na napakinggan natin, I can't deny na kinilig pa din talaga ako sa ating OPM jamming, especially to the song Leaves, na one of my go-to songs talaga this pandemic. Yes, I agree I agree with that one, Riyad. Ako naman, the song Ikaw at Ako, for me, signifies the love and connection a person can have with their significant other. Kaya naman, I'm sure a lot of our viewers here, I guess, will include that masterpiece in their wedding songs, maybe. O kaya sa mga yes. playlists for your loved ones, because it really has a beautiful message. Yes, Judy, Ate Pam. Ikaw ba, you, will you include the song on your wedding? Oh. Hindi ako sure. Wala <laughs> sa isip ko. Abang Ikaw ba? Abang Ate Pam. Baka, oh. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, Ate Pam, that is true. But, you know, syempre, di ko naman ipapatalo ang one of the best OPM classics from Alamid na Your Love. Grabe. I, I remember na Gano Kales is for that song way back in 2019, remember? But it yes, was used as a sound of... Yes, music comes Ayan. for the story. Dolce Amore, di ba? Nakakamiss. Grabe nakakamiss. Oh, grabe. Ayan. It is one of my favorite ano, teleseries back in the day. Yes, nakakamiss. Oh, with that, Ate Pam, grabe, di ba? Sana laging may concert like this so we can jam and listen to these songs. Kasi, di ba, it is just so magical because it gives me, for me, it gives me all the feels. I mean, I've never really dated before, but now I feel like I have. And that's the beauty and magic of love and music. It takes you to places and makes you feel things that you haven't felt before. Wow, that was so beautiful. Very well said, Ria. And that is right. Ako din naman. And also, I can't deny that I'd also love for concerts like this to happen more frequently. Diba? Diba? Kasi, because these days, kasi, um, we've all been busy and stressed dahil madaming events, mga akads, mojos, exactly. Kaya events like this truly helps in relieving all the stress or emotions that we have it takes yeah. us indeed like what you said it takes us to magical places that makes us feel nothing but love and joy i agree i agree <laughs> sorry that we all need some time out to relax and to breathe kahit pa. it's not bad to take some breaks every once in a while we're all just humans anyway di pa na. Yes, and actually, Ria, may nabasa akong magandang comment dito. I think it is from yes. Rochelle. She said na yun, r- r- music can really bring out true emotions. Ayan, grabe, using wow. music can really Please. express our true yes. feelings. Yes. Just Very like well what said. you were saying. Yes, thank you so much, Rochelle. Yes, ayun nga po, Ate Pam, you know, love and music may seem simple, but both are just undeniably powerful. Grabe! It's been a while, I'm sorry, it's been a while since kinilig ako kasi. Since days ako. Since days kasi, <laughs> kay dramas na lang talaga nagpapahilig sa akin. And today, this concert made me feel as if I am in a K-drama. Yeah. How about you, Ate Pang? How about you, Escolarians? Share nyo naman sa akin na nagpapahilig sa inyo. 
Wow, grabe. Actually, same, Ria. Ibang trade dramas talaga ang ating lifeline ngayon. At talaga ito yung source ng ating kilig at love. Pero, yes. ayan, how about you, Escolarian? Signan nga natin kung okay pa kayo dyan. Ayan. <laughs> ang dami na namang horror. Talagang a day for love ito. Ayan, yes. from Miss Giovanna Kate. Hello okay, po. Hearts. I can also see na, yes, K-drama nga do din. And ikaw ba, Atelia, anong favorite K-drama mo ngayon? Uh, ngayon, I'm... Uh, late siya, pero ano, start up. Wala. Oh, Ay, yes. Ako kay That's Nam nice. Jiyos. Ako naman, Ate, yung Our Beloved Summer, yun talaga grabe. Pinakita oh, namin yes. at iba't ibang forms of love. Kaya naman, again, thank you, thank you so much, guys, sa mga puso na binigay nyo. Yes. Yeah. You know, and as we continue, tuloy nyo lang ang pag-share ng inyong kilig moments with us. And feel free, of course, to share your thoughts and tag your friends in the comment box below. Yes, thank you, Esco Lawrence, once again for interacting with us and keep the comments coming. For now, let us take a short break and watch the Sabayang Pagbigas performed by the University Student Council Officers together with the Student Council Officers of CU Manila, Makati, and Balalos with their advisors. This piece is entitled Hiao, and this was composed and written by the University Student Council Manila Officers, Jerome Ventura. Emilia, Brian Kyle Duliente, and Mr. Robert Julius Suleiman. May isang bumubulong na hiyaw. Para kanino ang boss na ito? Para saan ang tinig na ito? Para sa sarili mo? Para sa pamilya mo? Para sa kinabukasan? O para sa minamahal mo? Hiyaw ng isang milyong Pilipino. Sampung milyong Pilipino. Tatlongpong milyong Pilipino. Apat na pong milyong Pilipino. Anim na pong milyong Pilipino. Hiyaw para sa aking kamaray. Anim na pong milyong Pilipino ang may kakayahan na pututo. May kakayahan na kumilos at baguhin ang ating kasaysayan. Mahalaga ang boses mo. Mahalaga ito sa bagong diwa ng ating bayan. Ikaw. Tatanggapin mo ba ang makapangyarihang boses na ipinigay sa iyo? O hahayaan mo na lang na matapon sa iyo? Ay, 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 ay! Ang boses ko ay para sa aking pamilya. Sa mga frontliners. Mga kabataan. Kababaihan. Kalalakihan. Sa komunidad ng LGBTQIA+. Sa mga magsasaka. Sa mga maralitan. Ang boses ko ay para sa mga pinatahimik. At mga tinanggalan ng karapatan sa ating lipunan. At mga tinanggalan. Mga tinanggalan. Mga tinanggalan ng karapatan sa ating lipunan. Sisigaw ako dahil may pangarap ako sa ating bayan. Isang bayan na kayang harapin ang pandemya ng may kahandaan. Isang bayan na ang edukasyon ay hindi lamang sa mga may pribilehyo, kundi para sa lahat ng mga kabataan. One nation where health is not only for the privileged, but a right for every Filipino. Isang bayan na nire-respeto ang bawat kasarian at walang diskriminasyon. Isang bayan binibigyang importansya at sinusuportahan ang sining at kultura. Isang bayan na hindi na kailangan matapot upang ipahayag ang katotohanan. Lahat mahalaga. Lahat mahalaga. Lahat mahalaga. Lahat, Lahat mahalaga. Para sa mga bagong leader na makatao. Mga bagong leader na patas. Mga bagong leader na makabayan. Kung saan tumitingi sa pagkapantay-pantay na pumumuhay ng mga Pilipino. Kung saan ang ating gobyerno ay hindi lamang mga politiko. Kung hindi nagsisilbi sa ating bayan. Bawat pangako ay hindi dapat napapako. Ang bawat pag-asa ay hindi dinadaan sa karakasan. Dahil isa lang naman ang ating mga 
Paging mulat sa katotohanan dahil tayo ang mga bagong bayani para sa ating bayan. Maniwala tayo ng Diyos sa ating bayan. Kata ang taong patahon upang tayo ay niyaw. Bayan, gising na nga. Alang sa mga trabahante. Bayan, gising na. Paraan ang mga malalang. Bayan, gising na. Para nagiti pinaulimin. Bayan, gising na. Para sa pagpapirong mga edukasyon. Bayan, gising na. Para sa bagong umana. Boboto tayo. Boboto tayo. Boboto tayo. Boboto tayo. Tayo. Wow, I'm really speechless with that. What a striking performance! To matak sa akin ati pam yung line na maging mulat tayo sa katotohanan dahil tayo ng bagong bayani ng ating bayan. Kaya Escolarians, don't forget to cast your votes this May because your vote is your voice. Thank you very much to the USC officers, student council officers, and advisors of CEU Manila, Makati, and Malolos. Ayan, nakita ko nga may bago naman tayong comment. Sabi, tara yes. kabataan at ating maguwi ng ating kapalaran sa pagboto ng tamang leader. Tama, tama, sobrang tama. Yes, and, and just like the piece, it was really an impactful performance right from the title, Hiyaw, the delivery, and of course, the message. I really admire and love the passion and dedication that Escolarians put on their performance. This piece, Ria, also shows us another form of love, which is the yes. love for one's country, right? Yes. At talagang damang-dama natin ng hiyaw, ng emosyon ng ating mga student leaders right through our screens. And this is very timely, of course, because we all know that the national and local elections are fast approaching. It's time for our voices to be heard. Truly, Adepam, that's very well said. And even with the title itself, Diba Hiyaw, it is a powerful and meaningful appro approach of wanting our voices to be heard and for it to be given importance as well, Diba? It's really important for our voices not just to be heard but to give in importance, Diba? Yes, exactly. Yes, and now with that, tara at umabante tayo to the last part of our concert. Yes, Ate Pam, this is already the last part, guys. To all, all our viewers, this is already the last part. But don't worry, because this is packed with breathtaking performances that will surely touch your hearts. That is right. And kahit last na, guys, be sh I am sure that you will still enjoy this third set and yes, after man. we featured yes and after we featured foreign love songs and opium songs earlier in the program of course love knows no boundaries right right <laughs> there is love for others love for a special someone love for yourself of course and of course we have love for god and of course of course we should never remember we should never forget this we also have love for the country Yes, and after the striking performance of Hiao, let us now listen to these wonderful songs na talaga namang mas magpapaalab pa sa pagmamahal natin sa ating bansa, ang Pilipinas. Starting with a song that is one of the most recognizable patriotic songs of the Philippines, entitled Bayan Ko, composed by Constancio de Guzman and arranged by Lucio San Pedro, a full band performance with singer Mr. Jerome Ventimiglia. Coming right up, we have one of the most used piece in singing contests entitled Isang Lahi. This is composed by Vinhi Saturno and arranged by Sergeant Virai A.D. A solo alto saxophone performance by Miss Julienne Itoralde. And last but of course not the least, we have the Filipino pop patriotic song entitled 
Ako ay Pilipino, composed by George Canseco, and transcribed for the band by Mark Anthony de la Cruz, a performance by the CEO Concert Band. Let's all give them a big virtual round of applause.
Grabe! That was such a brilliant way to express our love for our country, the Philippines. Kaya thank you, thank you very much to Mr. Jerome Ventimiglia, Miss Julian Itoralde, and to our very own CEO Concert Band that gave us such touching and memorable performances. Talagang ramdam na ramdam ko ang aking pagiging Pilipino with those set of songs. Diba? And I hope ang ating yes. Escolarians din na nanonood ay naramdaman ang walang sawang pagmamahal para sa ating bayan. Especially now with the song Bayan Ko Performance, grabe, which for sure gave all of us goosebumps. Grabe, grabe. Ramdam na yes. mga Actually, yeah. same thoughts. Diba? Same thoughts sa ating mga We can see the comments. Grabe na talaga. Yes. Shout out daw, Jerome Ventimiglia. Ang galing. <laughs> Ayan. Ayun nga, ate pa. Same thoughts. Because with those songs, I'm reminded of the importance of loving our own country. And truly, mas napaalab pa talaga nito ang aking pagmamahal sa ating bansa. Just like what you said, ate pa. May hope that ang ating escolarians ay naramdaman din ang pagmamahal sa ating yeah. bansa. Let us never forget and never hesitate to express our love for the country. And also, Ate Pam, I just want to add that it's good to hear the song Isang Lahi nga din again, which is really an OPM gem because yeah. as you've said earlier, lagi nga itong kinakanta, di ba, sa mga singing contests around the Philippines. Yes, and syempre kasi eh, nire-represent din yun ang pagiging Pilipino natin. Kaya you got that right, Ria. At syempre, di natin malilimutan na ang full band performance ng Ako ay Pilipino to close yes. off the third and last set. Grabe, it's this really song. It's beautiful. Diba? And not just beautiful, Ria, no? It, also, it is also very timely and relevant really? to our country, diba? Because for sure, it reminded not only me, not only the two of us, but all the escorts with us here of our responsibilities as a Filipino and voting is one of those. So I am reminding everyone, not only the Escolarians watching us right now, to please don't forget to vote on May 9, 2022. And please, please take all the time you need to research and know more about our national and local candidates. This initiative can really mean a lot sa mga susunod na bukas ng ating bansa. Very well said, Ate Pam. Practice your right to vote and let your voices be heard. Ayan. All right. Time really did fly so fast, Ate Pam. Diba? Ayan. We're almost so ending. Diba? Ang bilis. Talagang ang milipad na talaga ang oras kayo. So, all right. Let us, well, let us give the performers a big of virtual round of applause. You guys really deserve this. A huge thank deserve, you to everyone. Deserve. Yes, truly. That was such an amazing performance to end this special event. Thank you as well, of course, to all our viewers that have been with us right from the start. Totoo. And I don't know about you guys, but this event with all the amazing performance that we amazing performances that we had, it will really live in my mind and uh, in in my heart for as long as I can imagine. And I hope sa inyo rin. Yes, well, same, same for me, Ate Pam. But with this event, I am once again reminded of the importance and power of love and music. And you know, having said that, I am reminded of this line from John Keating, if you know the yes. movie uh, Dead Poet Society, there he said that law, engineering, medicine, these are noble pursuits and are necessary to sustain life. But love, poetry, music, these are what we stay alive for. And I just think that it's really beautiful. And that, that line has never left my mind since I first heard that. Yeah, yeah. But, wow, that was very that was a very insightful quote then G. But this and this concert is an example, is a perfect example for what you said. No our society should also revolve around love and music. Dahil ito ang ating lagi nagpapatakbo sa atin. Yes, and with that, Ate Pam, let's congratulate them again. Congratulations to everyone that made this event possible. Let us all give them a big virtual round of applause once again. And let us show them our love by sending in your hearts in the comments below. Yes, just like before in the earlier parts of our event, can please shower all our performance performers with love and oh, hearts. Yes. Pero grabe no, ang bilis talaga ng oras. Because... Ang bilis talaga. 
Diba? Kasi now, Rio, we have reached the end of this event. But of course, before we officially end, let us hear from Dr. Carlito Biolaer, the Vice President for Student Affairs, to give us the closing remarks. Let us give him a warm round of applause. Good evening, Escolarians. Last night, the CEU Folk Dance Troupe celebrated its 20th year anniversary with Balik Tanaw 2022, presenting online the past 20 years of performances where colors, movements, and grace blending into one night show has painted a tapestry of nostalgia and magic. It was unforgettable. Tomorrow night, we shall hear the CU singers across three campuses belting out some songs as part of their monthly minute choir series of performances. And similar to their previous presentations, I'm sure the CU singers will captivate you once again to sing your hearts out for now. Tonight, you have listened to the music and sound of our concert band. I am very grateful to the band for giving us this opportunity to see them perform. On the occasion of ending the celebration of the Arts Month in the University, a day for love is not only for today. It is meant to be every day for now. If the lyrics of the songs performed tonight had their way to remain in our hearts and mind, then there would be no seconds, minutes, or hours and days of our lives wasted because love transforms them into moments worth remembering whether it is painful or something that brings a smile into our faces. The power of music works magic with people who are open to the possibilities of making this world a better place in the company of one another. I am also grateful to all our students who unselfishly share their voice and talents like Kaela, Brian, Jerome, and Christine. I believe that this is another expression of how love purifies the inanities or clarifies the ambiguities of living. A life like ours in the midst of this pandemic. To all of you out there watching this concert tonight, thank you. The sound of the flute, the sax, the clarinet and trumpets in an orchestrated online performance may betray the quality of its speech and intensity. But the purity of intentions and the courage to perform defy the orders, if only to share what love is for you and for me, for our country, and for our life. And so as they close the curtain, there will be no curtain call, but there's a promise of a camera. Good night. Love transforms them into moments worth remembering whether it is painful or brings a smile into our faces. And this line truly did strike me the most because it just shows how powerful love is. You know, diba, Ate Pam? Even yes. the simplest okay. of things when done with love will create magic that transforms moments that will surely 
stay not just in our minds but also in our hearts. Thank you, Dr. Olaer, for that wonderful closing speech. Yes, Ria, and I would just like to add, this is also what Dr. Olaer said, no? A day for love is not only today, it is meant for every day to be for love. Yeah. Indeed, this line tells us that love is a choice that we can make and transform in every second of every day. That is why, thank you very much, Dr. Olaer, for that beautiful, heartwarming, and impactful message to end this superb occasion. Now, to officially end this event, let us all proudly sing the CEU hymn to be led by the CEU Concert Band. participation in this year's valentine's day concert entitled a day for love headed by our very own ceu concert band in partnership with the university student council manila yes and with that we are inviting again all of you to join and support the ceu concert band together with the ceu singers manila makati and malolos and the ceu folk dance troupe on their upcoming event entitled lola ada a tribute to Doña Librada Avelino on her 149th birth anniversary in line with the pagdiriwang ng Buwan ng Kababaihan this March 12, 2022 at 6 p.m. via Facebook Live and YouTube. Yes, and also please support us, the University Student Council Manila, on this year's USC Weekends 2022 that will happen on all Saturdays of March, starting March 5, 2022. You can check our Facebook page, CEU Manila University Student Council, for more details. See you there, Escolarians! Yes, see you, Escolarians, and grab it. Really, it was really fast. And I think that's all for today. One last time, thank you very much, Escolarians. Yes, thank you so much to everyone who watched us today. Once again, uh, I am Pamela Gracie Corpus. And I am Ria Janabet Del Rosario saying, Mabuhay ka. Mahal naming pamantasan. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat po.
Thank you po. Thank you so much po. Thank you everyone. Thank you po. Thank you po. Doc, oh, Thank you po. Ka. Okay, bye bye po. Thank you po.